Have you ever been to a dinner party uh, somewhere around sunset and you're gathered with friends, you're talking to them, being social like you're supposed to, and then there's this one friend who just yells and interrupts everybody saying, oh my God, look at the light, and goes out the window and maybe stays there for the rest of the night? Well, that would be me. You know, ever since I have a sense of memory, I have always been moved by nature. You see, like, think about how light and shadows work together to create all the shapes that we see. How these tiny particles in the air just diffract the light and create all the colors that we see. And just seamlessly and perfectly work together and just bring every single landscape to life. So this sense of curiosity and fascination for nature is what led me to become a landscape photographer. I strive to be able to capture the essence and the life of this landscape, the, the, how it visually just makes me feel alive and then share it with all of those around me. Now, this also led me to go to over 30 countries and capture different landscapes and different situations that also made me feel alive. But in the process and how I got to those places is what I became to realize is a problem. I actually left a big carbon footprint by getting to those places by trains, buses, planes, taxis, whatnot. And this actually led me to feel a little bit ashamed as well as disappointed in myself because no matter that I was going to these places to show how beautiful they are, I was actually damaging that of what I love most. So I started asking myself, how can I undo the, the damage? The truth is that I cannot undo the damage that I've done, but what I can do is figure out ways to pay it forward to nature. And that's where cruising the aurora came to life. This is a photographic journey where I'll be cycling with Aurora my bike from here Lothorp Sweden all the way to Rainy Norway covering 2,000 kilometers seeking to raise 5 euros per kilometer travel for a grand total of 10,000 euros. How I'm going to be using these funds is as follows. 80% is going to go to the four charities of my choosing that best align with my visions and concerns for the environment. Now, 6 to 8% is going to go to cover the fees of GoFundMe services of the total money raised. And now the last 14 to 12% is going to go to creating the lasting change. How I'm planning to create a lasting change is by creating a photographic book of Cruising the Aurora. The, this whole adventure, this whole journey with all the photographs, all the adventures, every single detail that goes along the way is gonna be put into this book that's gonna be sold and all the profits of this book are gonna go straight into the charities that I chose. In this way, your donation is not a one-time donation but an ongoing donation. You're gonna keep paying it forward to nature. As long as this book is sold, you're gonna be paying it forward to nature. Zero percent of the funds raised are gonna go to me. I have worked my butt off for two months as a dishwasher to be able to fund this trip for myself that includes my bike, my equipment, and all the food that I'll need along the way. I aim to have all the funds by the time that I'm done with this journey. I'll be starting from the end of August to maybe around mid-October, and that's where I want to start working in creating Cruising the Aurora, the book. So I hope that you join me in this journey to pay it forward to nature. If you want to follow the adventure live, then you can go and follow me on Instagram. And you can also follow the hashtag cruising the Aurora or and you can follow me or better said track me on Polar Steps. And this way you'll know exactly how many kilometers I've traveled, where I've been and where I've been taking my pictures as well as where is the adventure taking me. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Antonio Cabrera and I hope you join the ride in cruising the Aurora.